Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Andrew Oscar Delta. Welcome back to State of Decay, episode seven. In the last episode, we were told we need to find a new place to help destroy an armored Zed. Hell yeah, I will. Uh, we were told that we had to find a new place to set up our uh, survivor camp. I'm gonna get a shotgun or something before. Um, we need to find another camp rather than this church. So we're gonna go take out this armored Zed real quick and then we'll go look for a new a new camp. I'm thinking probably somewhere in that last town that we were in in the last episode when we had to go look for the judge. I'm headed up. Roger that. Seemed like a nice place. Oh, out of my way, Amber. Shit, a zombie horde alerted. Uh, there you go. Come get me, zombie. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, shit. The reason why I wanted to switch cars was so we don't have to go through this horde with my nice, beautiful sports car. Alright, where's this armored guy that I gotta take care of? What? Better do one Make sure the is clear. What? This guy made out of. What the hell? Area is here. No Zed's here. We could use your help. Guess I'll follow you. I got this. Oh, never mind. This is just where we start the mission. So the armored zombies in one of these buildings. <laughs> Die, zombie! Come on, we gotta find the armored guy. What are you doing? Found oh, there he is. Hey. There we go. You give people hope. Yeah. <laughs> All right, armored zombie taken out. So now let's head back. And once we do get back there. I gotta talk to one of the guys, I forget which guy it is, but I believe it's the guy that's wearing like a toque. That's the guy that's gonna go with me to look for some new camps. There's like seven missions right now. Morale issue, anger, morale issue, fair. I mean fear, fair. <laughs> That guy right there, this guy. All squared away? Oh, what the hell? You were the one that. How's it going? Oh, no, it's this guy. Should we. Come on, I Jacob. Cool. Let's head down towards Marshall. I think I know a place All where right. to Or we can just drive around for a while and see what we see. Your call. I want to rock and roll all night. Well, why don't we just drive around and we'll see what's up? We'll see what's good in the zombie hood. I 
I kind of like the church. It's nice and it's nice and armored and ow has nice cement walls all around it. We've already spent a whole bunch of building materials upgrading our beds. I don't see why we would move, but if you say so, Jacob. Oh, so we could possibly move into this one? Why would I want to move here? That's completely, like, unarmored. I like the church! I don't see what I why I would move from the church. I don't... Oh, by the way, if you guys didn't hear yet, this game, State of Decay, actually... Holy shit, that's a big mother mother. State of Decay actually broke sales records on the Xbox Live Arcade. Most games, most copies sold in under a month at 500,000 this was about four or five days ago that i read this so they've probably sold a bunch more since then 500,000 copies in under a month so impressive and it's for a good reason i really enjoy this game especially for 20 dollars this game's amazing am i going the wrong way nope just gotta keep following this street until we get there Oh no. Oh Nelly. <laughs> I can't have no zombie hordes hitting my beauty. on the radio to fill the time. Good point. My mom died when I was 13. Lily was nine. I'm sorry. Yeah. Anyways, not long after that was when Lily was diagnosed. And our dad, he was, um, he's kind of a wreck. I had to pick up a lot of that slack. Jacob, I need you to be a man. Help take care of your sister. You know what I mean? It was a lot for a kid to live up to. I didn't handle it well. As soon as I turned 18, I told my dad that I was moving to Danforth and I was going to college. And? <laughs> man. Man, he blew up. We had a huge fight. Didn't talk for years after that. I finally got back in touch with him just a couple of months ago, actually. This is my first visit home. Anyway, I don't think Lily's quite forgiven me yet. But Lily needs to man up. Oh, that's some piss poor driving. All right. Ah. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's. Oh my God. Oh yeah. I know you're angry, bud. I know. All right. Let's find some new homes. This one. Ooh, this one's nice. Has like a treehouse and everything. Well, what do you think? Check this place out. It's got a big yard, a privacy wall that we could fortify pretty easily. And check out that tree fort. We could turn that into a watchtower easy. You seem awfully excited about this place. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, when I was a kid, my best friend Sally, she lived in this house. And I was so jealous. I always wanted to live here. Well then, let's take a look inside. Yes, let's indeed. Oops. Jesus! I was... I can't see. Help me. Death rattle. <laughs> Better kill him before he turns. Hmm? 
Shoot the sick guy. Oh! What the hell was that? I don't know. That... That didn't look like any disease I've ever seen. You? No. Maybe we gotta go, huh? Leave the area? I wanna move in here. Alright then. If we need to leave, we need to leave. Potential home site. The Savani residence requires eight people and 30 materials. We have four ma 40 materials and nine people, so that's fine. What's this over here? I like this one because of the treehouse. Oops, sorry, bud. Get in! Let's go check this place out. Ooh, is it a warehouse? I like the idea of a giant warehouse. Well, that's a few options at least. There might be more out there to look around. I'll think about it. Sure. Big decision, I get it. Just remember, tree <laughs> fort. Mission home away from home completed. Friendship earned. Jacob Ritter. New location discovered. Trucking warehouse. Requires 12 people and 50 materials. Confirmed. We're Zed free here. This place is nice, but... I don't know. Seems a little open concept. Possibly a little bit too big. I'll consider it. We don't even have enough materials yet anyways. I think the best idea is to move into this home. Yeah, let's do that. What, did Jacob just leave? So like, thanks, I'll just run back. I think our defenses are okay, but I'm not sure I want to put him to the test. We might want to set up a few more outposts. I know, we're doing that. Advice, build more outposts. So an outpost is not necessarily a home, if I understand that correctly. So we can still set up out, out, outposts at like gas stations and whatnot. Yeah, I was right. So an outpost and yeah. I think it's time we pulled up stakes. Are you sure? That's yep. a big decision. It's time for a change of scenery. I'm done here. Hey, don't be a stranger. All right. Awesome. Sure. We're going to need more construction materials soon, or this place is going to fall down around our ears. Around our ears? What a dumb analogy. Um, do I already have a large backpack, right? Are these... These are small backpacks. I don't want that. Possibly take a few more shotgun bullets. <laughs> All right. That won't work. That won't work. Work, 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 work. All right, so we're in this new town. Whoa! Now what we're gonna do is possibly set up an outpost at, let's say, this gas station. We're gonna search it quietly. Hey, I don't want to panic you, but we may have a problem. Go on. I've been talking to some of the other survivors. A bunch of them are talking about some new disease that's been hitting their people. I think we just saw it. Yeah. Well, 
Better stock up on meds. Pastor Will's not looking so great. Did he get bit? Why doesn't he like pray or something? Oh, that was smart. So there's a zombie horde right across the street. So I especially don't want to make noise right now. After I get this, the gas station should be open to set up outpost. Ooh. Sit tight. I'm bringing the stuff home. We'll see you soon. I found some supplies. Send runners for pickup. I'll see you okay, so I only have 20 way. available influence, so we can't establish an outpost right now. But we can't. Oh, that wasn't smart. That didn't look like it had glass on it, from my perspective. And I'm out of here. <laughs> hey, hang on. I've got a transmission Oops. coming in. Oops. Wrong house. Jack. Jack, do you copy? Damn it, man, where are you? You might want to go check it out. How's it going? Stranger in trouble. Mission I'm person. Almost there. We'll crack open a cold one for you. We've got an opportunity for a little trade. Found this while I was out. Ten daily rations. Yeah. We're surrounded by infestations. Holy shit, we are. Alright, I'll do something about it. The one thing I like about this game is there's always something going on. As you can see, I just got like literally freaking 10 missions all at once. Trade 15 daily rations of food for 3 cases of ammo. I don't know. Seems like a pretty shitty trade to me. Shit, there's no back way. Alright. Oh shit. Where is this place? Is that the top of that hill? Shit. Bah. Still my favorite finishing move in this game. I love how these mountains are like so perfectly left. convenient. Snack I have? No, no snacks. Oh, it's one of those screamer things. Got you screaming up. I guess I like that. Pretty clear to me. There goes that infestation. Your mobility and stamina are penalized if you carry too much weight. I know, man, I know. Oops. Let's go check that one out. I should go this way because I need my car back. What the hell? Left. 
Run faster, lady! Thank you. Alright. Actually, you know what? We'll do this mission real quick. I got nothing left. Shit, man. I told you this was a mistake. Jack should have known better than to go off alone. Hi. You want to go home? I didn't say that. Just... He should have known better is all. Heads up. We got a visitor. I'm encumbered. You gonna talk to me at all or? Guess we bit off a little more than we could chew. Don't I can do that. We appreciate it. Last we heard from him, Jack should be somewhere in this vicinity. Now let's get looking. Find the missing survivor. Alright. So he's either in this garage. Which I hope he is, because ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for looking for your friend. Can anybody hear me? Yeah, the zombie can, since you just freaking yelled. Wow, bud. Ain't you practice much? Holy shit. I'm gonna have to search this mechanic shop. Coming home now. Perhaps. Okay, I'm definitely gonna destroy this backpack. Because it's useless. You are no longer encumbered. Thanks, game! I can't believe that noise it to did. Bring zombies. But it's okay, because I'm gonna beat the shit out of them. Hey, it's Jack. How did you even find me? I don't know what to say. I'm not sure I would have survived out here on my own. We'll follow you. I got this. Don't worry. Yeah, I got this. I don't have enough space for this. What do we get rid of? We need this medicine. Yeah. I'd like to see more of that. Nothing left in the mechanic shop. Looks like a good spot for an outpost. Are you sure? That's a big decision. Yeah. Tell the gang we're building an outpost here. There you go. I'm establishing an outpost there. I don't know why there, of all places, but I figured a mechanic shop, why not? Maybe if I need my beautiful car fixed. Huh, I just got into a two-seater car, didn't I? Follow along, children, follow along! <laughs> Come on! Where are we going, anyways? All the way up here? Follow along, children. At least I can tell I find a four-person car. That truck is probably only two. Wait, maybe not. Zombies up ahead. Yeah, there you go. This is a four-person car. Get in, boys. So what happened, anyway? I was stupid. I was searching this garage for some gas for the generators when I heard some of those cops in the courthouse start coming up the street. I mean, I don't know, maybe they would have left me alone, but I heard those broadcasts. I didn't want to take any chances. So I jumped out the back window. And of course, what happens? I land right in the middle of a goddamn horde. You're kidding me. I managed to get clear, but they were right on my ass and I was low on ammo. All I could do was hole up in an empty house and hope that they got bored. That's our place. Thanks again for all the help. Anytime. Why don't you come inside? The least we can do is feed you. You're gonna feed me? Hell yeah! Quentin! Oh, thank God. 
you ever do something that incredibly stupid again, I will kill you, okay? Hi, Becca. <laughs> Don't you hi, Becca, me with your aw oh, shuck small town charm. I can't believe you. We need to stay close to home. Jack could have died out there. I couldn't risk that. No, you just risked everything we have by leaving this place undefended. And I'm glad you're home. Safe. Sounds like it. <laughs> well, you can thank our friend here for that. We'd have been in real trouble otherwise. Okay, I admit it. I'm impressed. You happy? Ten plus influence. I just saw that truck again. I think I'm gonna take all your us. stuff. No, but they're none of the people we usually trade with. Yeah. Dude, I can protect myself just fine. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. So now do I officially have an outpost? Cool. So now I have an outpost here, my main base here, an outpost there. And I gotta go I've got take out these to infestations. We need some more sleeping space. People are already sharing beds and shifts. Now I've drawn up some basic plans, but we'll want to get on this in a hurry. People are already talking about leaving. Let them. I don't know why we need more people. It doesn't make sense. They just eat more food. If they want to leave, they can leave. Wait. Shit. Alright, infestation up ahead. Busted your head open. Come on! Come at me, sucker! Don't you think you're gonna scream at me, boy? Ah! <laughs> Shit! I can't lose another character! Run! Oh god, that was close. Run! Oh. That's a lot of freaking zombies, man. Last clip. Better make it count. Well, I'll make it count. With this truck. You would think on these infestation missions, they would send, like, way more people. It's like, hey, there's an infestation. Let's send one person. Erp -a -derp.
Will you die? So there's someone still in this house, huh? <sighs> Whose ass am I gonna have to blow? Had to do it. Thank God. Plus five to happiness. Eight cases of medicine. Nice. for yourself my friend you might not know me yet but I think the two of us could do each other a lot who are you why don't you come down to Marshall so we can have a little face-to-face -face chat why don't you lick my ass what's the plus sign mean oh it has health resources medicine I don't want to go there yet. I want to go back to our home fort over here. Get more shotgun bullets. Possibly a little bit more than last time. Too many infestations. I'm taking care of it, okay? Everything's coming at Milhouse. Showed those sons of bitches what's what. I totally forgot I had two other guns. All right. Nope, that's not where I want to go. I want to go here. I'll hit up that other place after. Alright, Zambies, let's get it over with. Hot coffee available Almost at the Grange. Out. Die, fat boy. Away from my truck. Wow, we got a lot of zombies coming up here. Oh, it's a SWAT zombie. How fantastic. Just what I needed right now. Shit, don't tell me I'm stuck. See you later, SWAT zombie.
Wow, there is like so many zombies in this infestation. I guess that's what an infestation is, but still. Damn it. I got nothing left. Last bullet. Almost out. I'm out of ammo. <laughs> Something big in that house because I see a giant red dot. Oh, it's probably that little bastard. Shit! Ah. Shut it! Ow! Piece of shit. There's another one in there too. You can see it from a giant red dot on the screen. Somebody's broadcasting something. Charlie Actual, this is Charlie Six. We got a bunch of civilians heavily engaged with Zed about a half click down from our position, requesting permission to assist. Uh, negative, Charlie Six. Say again, negative. Remain on station. My ass remained on station. These people are getting their asses handed to them. You hear me, Charlie Actual? Ah! Charlie Actual. Oh, there you are, you bitch. There you Woo! Plus 10 reputation, or whatever it's called. And I made my people happier. There we go, I got rid of the infestation. What's this now? An elevated perspective. Meet Ray Santos. What's this? Zed Hunt. Help destroy an armored Zed. Um. Uh, let's go to this survey point. Let's go to some potential places that may have... Sick driving skills, Andrew. Oh. We're just gonna come in here, get a few more ammo. Am I right? Yeah, you're right. Wait, what is that? Oh no, that's not what I wanted. I wanted food. Do we not have food? It's food, not something we we carry in this base anymore. <laughs> Need handgun ammo. Need some forty cals. Starting to run a little low on that forty cal. I like how realistic the reloading is in this game, because in most games it takes like a super long, I mean, it's super quick to reload your gun. I mean, how many people here know how to actually reload a Attention gun? Civilian. Probably not in a Remain view. in your homes with the doors locked and the windows secure. If you do not comply with these instructions, the army will not take responsibility for you being chewed on by Zen. <laughs> Thank you, and by America. <laughs>
Is that an armored? Yeah, it's an armored zombie down there. Damn, armored zombie girl. Hurry up. Imagine falling off this ladder. See you later. Made it. Gonna look around now. Zombie horde. House. Vehicle. Aha. Does it say tavern? Yep, tavern. Lots of houses, nothing that I give a shit about. An office. There's a freak. There you go, fire department. Let's give me some more of these. Spotted something interesting. Should be some useful stuff there. Potential home. I like that. More of those. Spotted something interesting. Should be some useful stuff there. Oh shit. Donut shop. Hell yeah, I'm hitting that up. Police department could have some okay. ammo. I don't care about the missing persons, all right? Missing survivor. Shit, there's a lot of undiscovered places here so far. Auto mechanic. I've been there, I believe. Okay. Isn't that where my other outpost is set up? Food concerns. Abandoned site. Spotted a weird Shit. one. Spotted something interesting. Should be some useful stuff there. I love how I don't even have binoculars out. Like, I'm literally just looking down the sides of my gun. <laughs> I see a place worth a scavenging run. Ooh, a pharmacy. These are the kind of things you need to know about. Spotted something interesting. Should be some useful stuff there. An abandoned oh, an auto dealership. I thought it said an abandoned dealership. I'm sure it is an abandoned dealership, regardless. Campsite. I've been there already. All right, we're good. Where was that other survey point? Right here. Let's go to that one too, just in case there's anything we haven't seen yet. <laughs> Wee! Oh, oh, hey! How'd you get up here? Hi, spot zombie. Spot zombie dead yet? Yep. I'm guessing he is. Oops. Oh, that was badass. Hell yeah. Monkey Bar Climber Deluxe. All right. Made it. Gonna look around now. There we go. This is why you gotta check out. All oh, there we go. Supermarket. I see a place worth a scavenging run. There's a freak. Aha. Shit. I see a place worth a scavenging run. Spotted a weird one. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Alright, I think we're good. 
Let's uh, let's head down. Oh, not what I wanted to do there. Please turn my camera. Thank you. All right. Let it be known that we will not tolerate raiders, Ian Marshall. Attacks on fellow survivors will be... You know anything about this guy, Ray? Yeah, he's kind of a local big shot. Owned a bunch of businesses in Marshall, served on the county commission. Hey, come on up. Just enjoying the view. Hey, Ray, sorry I uh, had to break your door down and everything. Maybe if you didn't lock it, you dick. Oh, sorry, Ray had to break your window and then fall off your freaking balcony. And then not make the jump to your ladder, which isn't that high. Are you serious? Ah! Uh. So damn tired. Oh, maybe you're in this room, and in that case, I feel really bad. Nope, you're not. You're in this one. Oh my god, you freaking idiot. Climb up the ladder before I snap. Thank you. Hope oh, zombies can't climb ladders. That'd be very unfair. What's up, dude? Glad you made it. Hope this wasn't too far out of your way. I like to come up here sometimes to think. Really gives you a sense of the big picture, you know. Go ahead. Have a look. Take it in. My family's got deep roots in this town. My grandpa started with nothing. Spun it into a lumber empire that put all four of his kids through college. My father took that education and gave back to this town. Miguel Santos was the first Latino mayor Marshall ever had. Did you know that? Community, you see. That's what matters. Now more than ever. All of us together, doing our own thing, but helping our neighbors when they need it. Marshall's seen some pretty bad times, and some good. But my family's always done our part to help her through the bad and make the good even better. The way I see it, this whole thing is just another bad time. And I just know my daddy and granddaddy are looking down at me right now saying, Raimundo, you've got to do the right thing. So that's what I'm doing. Just helping out any way I can. You need supplies, I can arrange a trade. You need a car, I can hook you up. Anyway, I've taken up enough of your time. You've probably got a lot on your mind. You don't need old Ray talking your ear off. Not really. Tell you what, though. Give me a little while to put something together. A sort of a welcome to the neighborhood present. I'll give you a call when it's ready. See you then. I'm cool with that. Perfect. You stay safe out there. Well then... <sighs> that was totally pointless. What's this? Missing survivor. What's this? Missing survivor. Nope, it's not. Alright, so... People said they needed food, right? This is a supermarket. Let's head to the supermarket. See what's good over there. Oh, I love how in great condition my car is. But that's okay. Gives me more of a reason to run over zombies.
Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. It's been about 50 minutes now, so if you enjoyed it, please leave a like, uh, comment in the comment section below, and subscribe. In the next episode, we are going to raid the supermarket, and the next episode, I believe, we're just going to get a lot of resources and upgrade our camp a little bit more. Be a little bit more fortified, try and keep people a little bit more happy. Maybe we'll do some missions, who knows, these episodes are a little long. So anyways, guys, like I said, like, comment, rate, subscribe. I love you guys. Thank you very much. Take it easy. Bye-bye.